So I've been using the M1 MacBook Pro daily for about three months now, just as long as I've been using my PS5, and I can say with confidence, this thing is hands down the best laptop that I've ever owned. And I've owned a ton of them. Now it does only have two ports, which is a major drawback for most people out there, but where else can you get 20 hours of battery life in something this compact that can actually edit Sony a7S III footage? Don't worry, I'll wait. But that's not what we're here for. Today I wanted to cover the best accessories you can pick up for your M1 MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. Obviously you can use these accessories with pretty much anything, but these are the ones I feel like are a must have for your new M1 models. To kick off the list, we have the Glorious Model O Wireless. This is my favorite to use for gaming and in the studio for editing. Now I know the Logitech MX Master 3 is also a monster and is a mouse that everyone loves, but I like this one a lot better for my personal use. It feels much more comfortable in my hands, and in my opinion, it's the best gram for gram mouse you can pick up that sports RGB lighting and gaming performance coming in with a price tag of just under 80 bucks. Now I did go ahead and do a full review on the Glorious Model O Wireless last week, so if you guys do wanna go ahead and check that out once this video is over, I will make sure to leave it linked down below for you guys. Next up, we have the Bazine LS10 laptop stand that provides you with a great ergonomic feel that's adjustable for when you plan on using your laptop in a different orientation, whether it's in your setup or when you're on the go. It's made of aluminum and is super sturdy, letting you adjust it as you need, depending on your look you're going for. It comes in at just under 30 bucks right now, and it comes in either black or silver colorways. Now, we all know that when it comes to internal storage with your M1 models, the storage capacity is limited somewhat, and it is quite expensive. So for most creators, including myself, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and spend that money on an external SSD to take your workflow to the next level. Now, I did go ahead and do a full review on the best external SSDs for 2021, which I'll also make sure to leave a link down below for you guys. But for my everyday personal favorites, we have the Seagate Firecuda that comes in at just over 200 bucks for the one terabyte variant with speeds of up to 2000 for it to read and write. This particular option is as fast as it gets for a non-Thunderbolt SSD and it's built like an absolute tank. So when I'm on the go and need to just throw something compact in my bag, this is definitely one of my favorites. My second favorite external SSD is the Samsung X5 Thunderbolt. This is the king of SSDs in my opinion. It's super expensive, but when you're dealing with those massive 4K and 8K video files, you need something like this to throw around those read and write speeds consistently of almost 3000 megabits per second. Not to mention you can also encrypt this SSD for that added layer of protection. I honestly can't recommend either one of these enough. Now, if you're looking for a third option that is a little bit cheaper, I would highly recommend the Samsung T7. That's my third favorite external SSD. I will make sure to leave all of these linked down below for you guys if you would like to go ahead and pick up any one of them and support the channel at the same time with no extra cost to you. Next up, we have the 12 South Book Arc. This is made exclusively for MacBooks. It has a nice, sleek, low-profile design that lets your MacBook sit on your desk when it's connected to your monitor, so you can save a ton of space, letting you use your MacBook as a full-on desktop machine when it's combined with a monitor and your peripherals. Now it has a modern aluminum design that's made exclusively for the 13 inch, 15 inch, and 16 inch MacBook models with sleeves to better suit each one of these models for a tighter fit. It also has an integrated cable latch to keep your connections easily accessible while preventing your MacBook from falling when disconnected. You can also use this book arc with other models. I've used my Lenovo X1 Carbon with it before and it does a fantastic job with storing this laptop as well. Next on the list, we have the Syntec USB-C to USB adapter. This is self-explanatory and is a must for your MacBook models. You can pick up a two pack for under 10 bucks right now, so you won't have to worry about being able to connect other devices to the Thunderbolt 3 ports on your new M1 laptop. If you would like to take it a step further, you can go ahead and pick up the high cable card. This is a small kit that holds a ton of little adapters for a wide variety of gadgets. It comes in this small, compact, wallet-sized storage kit that helps you easily access all of your adapters in one place. Now for my everyday backpack, I shuffle between the charcoal version and the black version of the Peak Design V2. This is my favorite backpack I've ever owned. I absolutely love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's perfect for not only carrying around your laptop and iPad, but it also has a ton of other compartments for your camera gear and lenses that you can go ahead and easily adjust to suit pretty much any one of your needs. Not to mention it also has security zippers so no one can just run up and open your backpack when you're not paying attention. These come in at just under 300 bucks right now and have discounts running all the time. Based on specific colors, you can go ahead and find on Amazon or Peak Design's own website. Next up, we have the Uppel travel adapter with dual USB ports that let you use your laptop and other devices in over 150 different countries. So you never have to worry about running out of juice when you're traveling and using your M1 MacBook in different parts of the world. This guy comes in at just under 10 bucks right now and is one of the first things you should go ahead and pick up for your new laptop. It has a 6.3 amp fuse to completely protect you and your devices with built-in safety shutters to protect users from touching the live parts on a socket when connecting. Not to mention, it also protects against short circuits, overcurrent, and overheating. Next up, we have this dope kit that's provided to us by Anchor. You get both a 25,600 milliamp power bank and a 65 watt charger for 160 bucks. Now we've all seen the movie Castaway. Just imagine how much easier Tom Hanks' life would have been if he had a power bank like this. 
You can fully charge your M1 MacBook model with this power bank and charge your iPhone 12 more than five times, giving you peace of mind when you're slashing your way through the deepest, darkest parts of the Amazon rainforest. You can charge up the three devices at a time. Both of the USB ports share an 18 watt output. So if your friend needs some juice on his phone, you can help him out as well. Next up, we have the Anchor 2-in-1 micro SD and SD card reader that comes in at $13 right now if you don't wanna go ahead and carry around a bigger adapter. It's perfect if you wanna go ahead and check out those dope photos or videos that you snapped on your camera or your drone when you're out and about. Now, when you are using that power bank, you will have to go ahead and pick up some USB type C cables just in case you need an extra one. Or if you're looking for something longer, you can go ahead and pick up a two pack from Anchor on Amazon for under 13 bucks to help you get through the day. No, this video isn't sponsored by Anchor, but Anchor, if you are watching, why don't you come over? Let's hang out. Partner with me on the channel. I have a fetish for your gear. For those of you that need more ports, we have the Leon Way USB type C hub adapter. It's a seven and two converter taking up both ports on your MacBook to let you connect a wide variety of different devices from multiple USB type C ports to card readers, a 4K HDMI output. I mean, this thing does it all. For a price of around 25 bucks, you can't go wrong with something like this in your bag of goodies. Now, if you did make it this far, you're an absolute legend. Make sure you let me know down below in the comments section. Before we keep going, make sure you smash that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Furthering on the onslaught of gear, we have the 50 watt USB-C car charger that lets you charge your laptop when you need a little bit of extra juice between your commutes. This one is also by Anchor. It comes in at just over 30 bucks and doubles as both a USB type C and USB type A port. It has a 30 watt port for your MacBook Pro, leaving a 19.5 watt port to fast charge your iPhone or Android device. Next up, we have this five in one multi USB cable by a company called Chaffon, Chaffin, whatever it's called. This thing is dope and it comes in at 14 bucks for a two pack. It's the perfect little addition to the lineup of accessories for your laptop, letting you connect multiple USB devices at ease when you're on the go or just in need of a few extra cables without carrying more than one. Now this next thing that we're gonna cover is probably the most expensive thing that you're gonna pick up next to a monitor for your new M1 MacBook models, but I can assure you it's definitely worth the price. It's the 13-in-1 Thunderbolt 3 dock by once again, you guessed it, Anchor. This thing comes in at 250 bucks. I have seen some coupons online dropping the price by around $30 depending on where you look. This is the ultimate dock for your laptop. It has dual Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB Type-C ports, four USB Type-A ports, an HDMI port, an ethernet port, SD and micro SD card slots, and a 3.5 millimeter aux port. It also has an 85 watt charger to fast charge your laptop with 15 and 18 watt chargers to give you a quick boost for your other devices as well. The Thunderbolt 3 port supports a 5K display at 60 Hertz, while the HDMI port supports a 4K display at 60 Hertz. You can connect to both simultaneously to enjoy a crisp, clear view mirroring across two different monitors. Now it only comes in a gray color for now, and I like the look and feel of this model better than the older outdated version by Caldigit that everyone keeps reviewing on YouTube. For my favorite desktop monitor, I use the 34 inch curved Alienware with its 3440 by 1440 display. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate with NVIDIA G-Sync technology, giving you the ultimate immersive experience while keeping everything super crisp and sharp. It comes in at just over 900 bucks right now on Amazon while it's on deal. I mean, this thing is an absolute beast. I just ordered another one and I honestly can't recommend this display enough. Links will be down below for you guys. As I mentioned previously, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next episode. Peace.